What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Arco. And I am the queen, and you're tuned in to Boss Talk. And today we have another one of our fabulous skaters out there in the community that we are going to take the time out to get to know them. So let's go ahead and let you guys introduce yourself. And uh, this is Sam V.A. Smooth Roller here from Virginia, and I'm here with my lovely wife. Darlene Farmville, Miss Darla the Starlow. That's me. Darla the Starlow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Good deal. So we always like to start these off with asking the question. And since it's two of you guys, uh, we'll go ladies first. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so first and foremost, tell us how long you've been skating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. I uh, officially started skating because I like to put it on at owning my own skates. Like, mm-hmm. you're not skating for real. You don't own them. <laughs> uh, so that would be maybe less than seven months ago. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. So what did, you, what did you buy, though, since you was rolling on your own? Summer before our wedding. Okay. Yeah. What 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 brand of uh, boot did you our get? Our high nail boots. Mm-hmm. You know, all the turf. Are so new to me. Um, she, has, she has the 121 ride. Okay, okay. So she came in strong. Okay. So how long were you skating? I grew up, I grew up on the Ellesmere Skating Ranch. Shout okay. out to Ellesmere. Yeah. All, you know, living our arts. Because uh, there are clothes now that are closed now. But I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware, and moseyed in there when it was a you know a youth event or a lock. I went to one lock in. I survived one lock in. <laughs> uh, I grew up in the suburbs, so going to the skating rink was a very unique environment for me. Uh, <laughs> being in the inner city, so uh, but yeah, I officially started skating when I got my own skates. And um, yeah. he's older, laughing. <laughs> 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 I got back into the skate world. I got back into the skate world through a mutual friend of ours, the beautiful Alicia um, Poro. Lady D, whatever you want to call her, Nisi. And she goes by Nisi mostly. Okay. But um, mutual friend of ours, I, I saw them talking in Greenbrier Skate Rink in Chesapeake, Virginia. And I said, any friend of hers is a friend of mine. That was back in 2015. Mm-hmm. And I went over and introduced myself. And the rest is literally history. The rest okay, is literally okay. history. All right. Good deal. Good All day, right, good smooth deal. roller. So when did you start? <laughs> When he, oh. got, when he popped out the room. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I started when I was about three years old. Um, wow. Started, you know, my mom bought me my first, you know, she bought me the Fisher. I had the Fisher Price. Skate. The you Fisher know, Price. <laughs> orange wheels. Oh, yeah, the plastic <laughs> ones. All that noise going around the floor. Mm. But, um, yeah, I started then. And my the first rink I've ever been in, I think I would have been like five or six years old. And my godmother, he was the driving force behind um, me roller skate because mm-hmm. I had roller blades around that time and I couldn't stand up straight in them. So she said, "You know what? We're gonna go to the rink." <laughs> and we went to the rink in College Park, in mean, um, Norfolk, mm-hmm. and. Um, my first time ever being in rental skates and skating around, and just learning, learning from her and watching others. And yeah, that's how I started. It's about three. First time putting my foot in a pair of rental skates was probably five or six. Okay. okay. So did you guys meet at the skating rink or outside the rink? Uh, me and my wife? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we literally we met in the center of the rink because he was talking in easy. And, I was, okay. and I, you know, I'm an extrovert, I'm Sagittarius, mm-hmm. I'm nosy, I'm friendly, I'm a social <laughs> butterfly. She just want attention. No. <laughs> was, he putting, was he putting in the footwork, though, when you, when you, when you saw him? Was he putting in the footwork? No, they, no, they were just standing there <laughs> talking. No, I don't pay him no mind. I was just... That, look, that ain't how I remember. I was okay, we'll like, let you go in a minute. Go ahead on, Queen. <laughs> A great vine, you know, doing some footwork. I won't pay none of that. I had like this that. glow around me. No, no, oh. there was no, there was no <laughs> conversation. I, that was it. I was just like, oh, what? who that? 
right. Let me make it around without falling. I'm telling you, I'm scoot scooting. Like, right. I was, I'm, I'm decent now, but I was in the struggle game five years ago. <laughs> actually, actually, yeah, the way I remember as well, just to add on to what she's saying, um, I, when I first saw her, this is the point that she doesn't know. I first saw her, I was talking to a, uh, another lady. Um, and I saw ladies, just, man, he always talking to some lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's a smooth roller. My mama always said I was a chump. <laughs> <laughs> But no, um, I I was standing in the middle of the floor and I was talking to a friend of mine and um, I was like, who's this girl just skating around? Like, mind you, she had like her hair was all. I like, had a big, yeah. I had bigger hair, yeah. Yeah, see. I had yeah. a pink shirt on because it was a breast cancer skate and mm-hmm. I'm dedicated to that cause. Uh, it hasn't affected me personally, but, you know, being a woman, you got to support. Yeah. You see, this is the time. Mm-hmm. So I made sure that yes. I had my pink on. Nisi had her pink on. We went and it was sure, a yeah. it was a nor'easter. I had on a um okay. hot pink shirt and I had on printed leggings. I have the Facebook memory too. Uh oh. <laughs> well, uh oh. It was not the shirt that she had on. She had on a, a whole other shirt. Nope. It was a whole nother shirt that she, she had. has amnesia. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like running that know. Uh, show. Uh, what is it? The uh, marriage game with. <laughs> Oh, they got a yeah. guess to say with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love and marriage. Like. Yeah, love and marriage. <laughs> well, let I remember that. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty shirt. It was a multicolored shirt. It was pink. too pink. It was too tall. Okay, so what do you remember about that? Because you was talking to the girl. You said, who is this beautiful woman over <laughs> here? Let me, let me yeah, talk. I mean, <laughs> want you to hold some actors. <laughs> But anyway, well, I was beautifully interrupted. Whatever. <laughs> um, I was standing there talking to the girl. I'm sitting there watching her skate by. She just had the biggest smile on her face. And I'm like, and her, I was like, man, hey, she cute. Like, she was like, skate with her. It was just cute. Whatever. And I'm just watching her. So I'm starstruck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mind you, I'm starstruck. So then Pretty later cool. on, moving into where we actually first and you know, really were, encountered. Yeah, encountered yeah, each um, other. Um, we see. Yeah, she used to hold, host kickbacks called yeah. Hotel California. Yeah. And I would come after a long, hard day of work. Mm-hmm. That's in the mark. Wait a minute. Are you... oh. I'm right there. I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the ring. Hey, oh, out of the ring. Yeah. Out of the ring. 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 So I'm talking to these. I was talking to Nisi, and then she she comes over. You know, she said what she said. Any friend of Nisi is a friend of mine, and oh yeah, she my heart kind of skipped the beat because she came up and she hugged me, and I was like, huh. yeah, I, I gave I, my I, church I just, hug. What'd you say? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> she gave you that church hug. You said I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> I don't know if I put my hand out. No, uh, yeah, you actually did. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm so <laughs> and, and and it spoke to me in every way because when she hugged, we you actually shook my hand and then you actually gave me a hug. It's like I normally myself, but men I I give them a handshake. Mm-hmm. Females I give a hug. Mm-hmm. You know, uh-huh. um, on a you know non professional level, like of course if I'm meeting with my boss or something. Female, I'm gonna shake her hand, but you know, females I give hugs and men I shake their hands mm-hmm. because you no know, female, we gentle, gentle creatures of this world, they're nurturing, mm-hmm. you know, beautiful women of this world. That's so right. they have to be handled with care. That's what I, that's why I hug <laughs> my mom. Yes, fragile. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the skating scene out there where you guys are at. Oh, well, man. well, it's it's good. It's mm-hmm. good. We have it's, we we came from a drought, yeah, mm-hmm. a, a big drought. And this is way before he was even proper here in Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, my history. Um, we used to we used to skate hard all the time. Um, out in either Hampton or Smithfield, mm-hmm. and those two rank in Virginia 
is what really um, accepted coach. Okay. They accepted the coach. And um, one of the most common rinks that we skated in was Smithfield, um, which is where I met, you know, Jit and Diddy, mm-hmm. um, Bird and Cadillac, uh, you know, just naming some people. I met them there and uh, we we started off our history there um, back in like 99, 2000. Woo. And you're talking, about a, you're talking about a rink every every night small rink only mm-hmm. can house like 500 skaters mm-hmm. and we're in a damn pack every every sunday night wow. getting in mm-hmm. our thing, training making you know helping each other get better and all this mm-hmm. other stuff and then eventually um at a time i think it was, let's say it was probably around the time when um well after road bounce came out or whatnot this started Doing this, yeah, yeah, up yeah. and down, up and down, mm-hmm. and um, I would say probably about 2000, 2012. Mm-hmm. Um, it really hit, it really hit the drop because um, mm-hmm. none of us, um, not me, Jit, Diddy, um, was really coming skating like talking about it. We was leading our mm-hmm. different lives, and um, I was in Baltimore, matter of fact, I mean, and um. Some of y'all were starting to get to yeah. y'all thirty something. So yeah, we was, our, we was already in our thirties. So right, what, right what was that? Now. Is that what we owe? I mean, no, like, no, no. Okay. I'm just saying, like psych- psychosocial. <laughs> I put my counselor hat on. Okay. Psychosocial development stages, like just at that age, people were you know building families or getting into careers, and mm-hmm. and it was taking their time and focus and energy and resources away from those passions. Okay. So would you say, um, because that that tends to be kind of the trend that we mm-hmm. see a lot with uh, skating, you know, um, you see an uprise and then you see a decline, but it seems to be in certain areas because certain other yeah. cities and states don't really seem to have that issue. Yeah. Uh, their numbers seem to stay consistent. Um, but other places, they seem to kind of dwindle a little bit. So would you attribute that to just life yeah yes oh my gosh i could talk about that for hours just seeing social trends and cultural Mm -hmm. trends and how generations transition and shift and share those different you know pastimes and customs to the upcoming generation those waves that we have just in you know population and births and how to connect what we do and how we, you know, celebrate and operate and, you know, and function in that, in this realm is very, you know, intricate. Right. We, um, here, as far as the skate world here, our, our skate community is not as big as places like, you know, Chicago, mm-hmm. York, New Jersey, mm-hmm. you know, where it has all every, the to be. every, every night, every skate night, they can, can pack out the house mm-hmm. with 300 500 plus all the time and that's and that is local skaters um that don't even travel so mm-hmm. non-travelers and the travelers they can pack out the rink at the time we here in virginia you have to do something in virginia to keep our attention we yeah we're, we're, we're kind of we're kind of <laughs> it's like we, we we're like Oh, what's the next move? Because a lot of the lot skaters of that are coming into it now, mm-hmm. because a lot of our old school old, 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 has uh, to the side, you know, they're yeah. carrying on with life. Um, some of them still travel. So now we're getting the new, newer generation mm-hmm. into it. And all they know is travel, travel, travel. Because that is actually how they heard They're nomadic about it. By nature. So they, nomadic by nature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's uh, let her take the over show right now. <laughs> but, yeah, it's um, but we're still staying strong, and mm-hmm. I and, and I can say from our drop, we have been building and building um our skate community. Um, right now, one of the prominent, most prominent rinks that we skate at right now is Greenbrier out of Chester, Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's another rink um, out in Richmond, which is Roller Dome. 
And um, big up, shout out to um, DJ G Nice, DJ Boogeyman, and DJ Bossley J. Um, a few few name droppings that I want to you know want to put out there that has helped yes. you know rebuild and restructure the skate community out here. Um, and it's given it yeah, keeping us together, giving us options. Um, as far as sessions are concerned, but um, yeah, even with myself, just one of the DJ pioneers. Shake. Yeah, DJ Shake too. I, yeah, Happy birthday! It's your birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we um, even with myself, just trying to you know, school or educate. I'm gonna put it that way. Educate yeah. the younger skaters that are coming into this, and they don't know much. They don't know the history. They don't know the reason why we do this, right. why it is such of a culture. They just think, man, it's something fun to do. We can get to travel, we get to show off, we get to do whatever. So it's kind of like bringing them back to reality and helping mm-hmm. them understand, like, this is why we do this. Mm-hmm. And these are some of the things that can take place in the future and what's already happening, but what's going to take place in the future, and you need to have an understanding of why. So would you say that is difficult to um, pass that information on? Like, are they willing in your area? Are they willing to embrace the the history uh, and the culture, or is is it challenging for you? Uh, it's it's a bit challenging. It's it, it's it's off and on. It's all depending on the the person. Mm-hmm. Some of them gravitate towards it. Some of them don't. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes them a little time. You know, and that's and that's okay. You know, they may have to have a reason why. They may have to see their peers mm-hmm. um, gravitate towards. You know what what they would like to learn. You know, so it is. It, it can become a struggle because of the fact that social media is so big, so wide. They can mm-hmm. get up there. They can be whoever they want to be. Say whatever they want to say. Mm-hmm. Reality is that you are who you are. Right in front of me, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and, and around others. So now you're 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 either going to be open, what I'm trying to show you, or you're going to be closed minded to it and just stick to the same old thing. Mm-hmm. And you know, I I've, I've heard one common thing, and it's and it's it's very disheartening how some young how some of the younger generation. It's just like y'all getting old. Y'all need to move out of the way. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ow, ow, mm-hmm. and this it, it goes to show that they don't understand. They don't know who has paved the way for them to be even where they're at right now. Right. They they, they don't know who to show homage to, and a lot of them don't even care to know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well. But while y'all not caring to know, and these rents are falling left and right closing down or whatever the case may be and you're like oh man why what could we have done or you just move to the next rink mm-hmm. it feels like you're not going to be happy until we just skating outside consistently on the tennis court or in front of our door <laughs> right yeah right. <laughs> you right. know so yeah it, it is it is it's it's a struggle but it's like understanding for us we have you know, pioneers that we've been in the skate game for a minute. We have to be able to speak their language yeah. too. And what understand, is it? Go ahead. Yeah, understand how how to really um approach the you know approach them. So, what is your what is your method of approaching or you know trying to reach that? younger generation that has that outlook, how do you approach that and to try to bring them back to, to understand that without the history, there is no current. So what is, what kind of conversation would that look like when, when one of those youngins come up? Well, before then, um, it was teaching. Mm -hmm. I developed the art of teaching. Like it was being taught to me. Mm -hmm. Um, you pioneers in my life, um, they just came up to me, pulled me to the side, hey man, skate with me, come skate with me. I took that same, that same thing, mm-hmm. and 
I, I do it now. And um, I was teaching classes um, out in Baltimore at one time. And then, you know, once I moved back to Virginia, I started teaching life. And that's how I connect with them because they want to learn. Because they're out, they're young, they're vibrant, they, they're energetic, they want to learn everything there is to know. But they, most of them learn just by either watching somebody do it or they learn something on their own. They're not really being taught. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, and, and given that structure, correct, you know, so it's like I approach them with, with that mindset and it helps me to build that relationship with mm-hmm. that individual mm-hmm. and help give them structure. Mm-hmm. Help give them understanding. Give a little, you know, educate them with some history. Yeah. You yeah. know, about the move technique, mm-hmm. you know, this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever mm-hmm. comes in line with that, and just let them know that, hey man, there, there was a time before me. There was yeah. a time before <laughs> you. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Kind of move forward with that. And then, you know, to include now with this, my brand, Rolling Unified Ready, mm-hmm. is, a, is a platform. Mm-hmm. It's a platform for that because mm-hmm. it comes with service. It comes with unifying, creating, educating, serving, mm-hmm. and scaling. Mm-hmm. So this is what I'm using also as my platform to help build that connection, to help bridge that gap. Yeah, yeah. One thing I'll say, I feel, so, you know, coming into it, I felt sort of like an outsider looking in. But now I'm inside. Um, <laughs> what I've noticed about our skate scene is it's big on fellowship. Our mm-hmm. wedding reception was a skate party. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. he has done and what I see and what I noticed in the community is that there is still some humility. Right. Mm-hmm. There, When I see him talking to skaters of all ages, he comes with humility and respect for that person. And he knows that it's going to be reciprocated. And the moment that it isn't, oh, we're chopping that and we're going to put a pin in it. We're going to come back to it when everybody's level-headed because nobody has time to cause a scene or, you know, to be dramatic. It's all about just having a strong, sturdy peace of mind on keeping an art form alive. Mm. There's so many things that were taken from us that you know we're tried that were manipulated that we're getting back and we're holding fast to that is what I see in the community we we support each other in so many different ways because everybody is so um everybody is so different in what they bring to that table. Mm-hmm. Virginia is a huge table. That everybody's, you know, bringing their individual buckets. Their buckets are individualized, like I've never seen. But <laughs> I, I also see, you know, really tight teams. I see, you know, groups. I see just, a, I see a lot of unity going on and uniqueness. And that, and that took time. Mm-hmm. It took time to rebuild. You know, um, again, like we're in a new normal now. Back then. The new normal for the skate world, yeah. Um, and, and our skate community here in in Virginia, you know, it's not a lot of us. Um, but we try to stay as unified as possible um, to keep this thing alive and um, try to educate as much as we can. Yeah. You know, even the opportunity that I I um, provided for a lot of the skaters here. We have a new rink that's getting ready to open up in each called Gate House. We got the Allen and nice. Nice. that. Um, definitely a nice establishment. Um, it is it has come along. They still got to put the finishing touches in on it. But um, I've been talking to them since last year, and they did a soft open mm-hmm. um, back in October. Mm-hmm. So I gathered. Yeah, yeah, on November 1st. Yeah, you're right. It was, um, I gathered a lot of the skaters here in the, in the state community. We had a meeting and um, I told them, I said, listen, one first question I asked is, how many of you have seen a rank open? Mm-hmm. Mm, that part. Nobody could, nobody raised their hand, not even me. Mm-hmm. Even me. 
I said, now how many of you have seen a ring fall? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Everybody yeah. start raising their hand. Yeah. I said, okay, we have a ring that's getting ready to open here in Virginia. And this is our opportunity to show them that we come with love, we come with respect, we come with support for this ring. Because we're skaters. If we we can't we can't claim ourselves to be skaters and we don't hold up our end of the our end of the bargain mm -hmm. or where we take care of our rent. That is right. that is an obligation. Right. But hey, take care of your rent. Yeah. Because this is our safe, this is our safe haven. Mm -hmm. This is our place to come and release and to yeah. connect with our friends, to meet new friends, mm -hmm. to you know, to join with old friends. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is an opportunity to show the owners of this yeah. ring that hey, yeah. Yeah. this is it. Yeah. You know, this and is where a, it's at. You that's know, a really this, good this, that platform. Yeah, that's a really good point because um, a lot of skaters we just go to the rink and mm -hmm. we go home. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We don't know the behind the scenes stuff that happens at the rink, how it's hard for them to even keep the doors open, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's good to show some appreciation and every now and then, you know, say, Hey, I'm at the end of the session. Look around. If there's some brownies or peanut brittle <laughs> sitting around, you know, pick them up. <laughs> peanut brittle is B1's term. <laughs> peanut brittle. So, you know, just pick them up and drop them off yeah. you know it doesn't yeah. take much to do that little act yeah. of kindness because i've been in the ranks and i've been working at the ranks and you're there hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. on end it's a lot you know, man I, it's I, a I, lot. I worked in i worked in three ranks before mm -hmm. and it's a lot you know yeah. having to pick up skates put them put them back where they belong and clean up. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> on the floor like yeah. come yeah. on mm -hmm. yeah. what does your house look like yeah. right. it, right. a, lot of, a lot of people don't think about that they don't, they don't. think about mm -hmm. how hard it is mm -hmm. to the upkeep of a, of a yeah. rank right. um, what the rank owners or the managers go through from, from day to day right. um, and it's something that I've been preaching to some of the skaters here in Virginia like you know take care of your rank mm -hmm. take care of your rank Mm. Because this is this is all we have right now is what we have left, right? And and, and ranks are falling left and right. Mm. You know, we've had one rank that that um that cold out in Richmond mm. four years ago, and that was skate, skate land out mm. in Richmond, mm. and he the probably the biggest floor, the biggest skate floor out here in Virginia. Mm. No, that's okay. not, yeah, yeah, not the biggest floor, is it? Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, it is actually. So, um, yeah, we lost that ring, mm. you so, know. That's, so, now that you have this opportunity to see a ring open and yeah. you have a um, listening ear of people in the community, how is Rolling Unified going to work with the rink owner or just other skaters to try to make this? a viable, successful rink? Or is it something that you've already discussed with other skate groups and things like that so that you can make this, you know, a success for for the skaters, well, for the culture, but well, for the, the, first, the first step was The first step was I, I connected the skaters with this soft open. Okay. And I took it upon myself. I paid for the DJs. They didn't even have a DJ or person out there that was going to play something off of their phone. Had, they had speakers set up mm -hmm. and they were just going to let music run. They had a lot of things going on. I said, no, 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 wait a minute. Uh -uh. No, no, this is skating ring. Mm -hmm. And the reason why people come is because not only just the different things that you can do around come the way, they mm -hmm. come for the music. Mm -hmm. that's so really let's, let's, get, let's give them that. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I, I, I connected everybody. We was out there. We put on that expo. We okay. put on an expo, a little showcase, man, and it was great. It was so awesome. Hmm. They loved it. The community that was the people, the locals in, in that area, in Virginia Beach, hmm. Ben Haven area, they came out. They loved it. They were dancing with us. They wanted to skate with us. Yeah. And 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 we and we did that. And now you know, and what I've been doing for some time now is building my brand. Hmm. So you know, just connect 
using my brand myself and the team, the, the team, the loyal team that I have, thank God for, mm -hmm. to build to um, build this brand. This brand is not for me. Mm -hmm. Not for me. This mm -hmm. is for the skaters. Mm -hmm. What we do. You know, and we've had so many negative things taking place in the skate world. Kind of, we got to throw some positivity in there somewhere. You know, yeah, yeah. keep our to keep our heads on straight and to give us hope. You know, about our culture that is slowly, slowly, you know, struggling right now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, you know, and it goes out here to everybody what I'm working on right now. I'm working on doing an event out mm -hmm. here in 757. Mm -hmm. um, it's called VA Summer Splash. Mm -hmm. okay. Coming summer of 2021. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm willing, Lord yeah. willing, yeah. that we are able to successfully pull this off um, because, like, we're in a new normal. Post-corona. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're in a new yeah. normal, so I don't know at this moment right now what's coming mm -hmm. but they're what they're going to require the restrictions and this yeah. that and the third but so many um, other major events yeah. have been pushed and yeah. Pushed yeah. Off the next year. so we understand that there will be a lot of energy to compete with but we mm -hmm. know that there's a lot of loyalty and love and support right, right. The skate community. and i and i and think we all feel it for a I, I i think they're going to like having another event Back in the 757 area in the Virginia Beach area. Mm -hmm. um, big ups to um, Miss Synergy herself. She used to hold a, a, an event out in Virginia Beach called Synergy at the Beach. Mm -hmm. And one thing that people loved about coming to that event was going to the, the beach. Right. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna bring we're gonna bring a different flavor to it. Um, and I just you know, I hope everybody will 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 love it. Yeah. yeah, you know, once we pull it off, man, and I, like I said, show just up, show up, come out. Let's let's have a good time and and skate unified. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your brand, Rolling Unified. So how did that get started? Um, it got started because of the history behind um adult roller skating. Mm -hmm. You know, it's oh, what we went through. Um, I created this this um, brand back in March of 2019 mm -hmm. um, to represent, it was motivated and it's also that struggle of what African-Americans have before um, just to roller skate. Mm -hmm. You know, and if anybody don't know, if you haven't seen the documentary, you know, Bills and Soul Brother Music, mm -hmm. you know, it, it touches on that back in the where we had to pick it to escape. Mm -hmm. And then it touched on it again in another documentary, United States, um, where it showed that history and what was currently happening um, was us as a black community, black race happening was in skate world. You know, we were separated. It wasn't, wasn't allowed to skate with we weren't allowed to skate the way we want to skate, skate. hear the music we want to right. hear. So this, this this motivation, that's why I love, mm -hmm. I love our culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many of us DJs, skaters, you know, people that don't even Dancer. really skate, dance, they like they, you know, they just love roller skating. They mm -hmm. love the atmosphere. They oh. love everything, you know, about it. You no. Know, and it's we use this as a platform to reconnect with everybody within the community. I said this brand is, isn't for me. This is for people that appreciate. It doesn't matter whether you travel or not. Yeah, if you appreciate it. It's all it's it's all love. Mm. And, and um, you know, like I said earlier, we Rolling Unified stands for unifying, creating, educating, serving, and skating. And to stand up against all and more moral acts and injustice mm. that's happening in the skate world, you know, as we have to stand up for ourselves. We know that <laughs> there's a lot of rank owners that don't support our culture. We there know yeah. that our culture doesn't pay their bills, but it does contribute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and it can bring it, it can bring so much attention to that ring itself. Right. Right. Outside right. of the adult realm. Mm -hmm. Now you have more families coming out of this. Man, this is a beautiful ring. I've never been in this ring. Never even seen this ring. Man, I'm I'm gonna bring my kids here. Where else do you, you get know, kids from? Adults. <laughs> you know, so it's it, it's so many things, man, that um that for a, a, a vision a brand can do mm. for for the skate world. And it's all about how you apply it, the, the right people that you have to be a part of it, the leaders, the um that are standing behind you. I have a lot of a, a lot of mentors in this thing. You know, one of my key mentors, you know, yeah, name dropping, probably going to knock me upside the head. <laughs> <laughs> my lovely uncle Ice, always, always, man, he's mm -hmm. just been the greatest mentor to me in, in and out of the skate world, mm -hmm. you know, and one thing that a lot of skaters, new skaters, understand that it's, this culture is bigger than just skating, about building a, a, a relationship, mm, yeah. you know, a vibe between you and and others. We, there's a lot of skaters that have that carry many hats. We put on many hats. There's a lot of us out here. We're law enforcement, doctors, nurses, dental. Yeah. Yeah. We work yeah. in the shipyard. We, yeah. you yeah. know, radio radio station, mm -hmm. um, DJs, all of that. You know, we we. We are a, a big community full of educated black. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. what's so beautiful black about excellence. it. It's mm -hmm. a lot of black excellence, you know, and we're doing the thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's, I love. So, uh, speaking of like careers and so forth, uh, outside of the skating rink, what do you guys do? I'm a school counselor um, in a very small school, mm -hmm. a rural um, area of the northern neck of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Colonial Beach. Colonial Beach. <laughs> I've never heard of this city ever in my life. Drift your pride. Uh, never heard of this city ever in my life. Um, I've lived in Norfolk for 10 years, and one of my sorority sisters called me up and said, you need a job? I was like, uh, yes, I just graduated. <laughs> Help me out. Um, <clears throat> And she hired me as the school. I might be, uh, you know, forgive me if I'm overstepping, but I might be their first black female school counselor. And she might be their first black female principal. Mm -hmm. So um, it's an awesome experience. We have a skating rink 45 minutes away from Fred our school. Fred. No, okay. um, Montrose. Oh, my, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's one in Montrose and there's one in Mara. So Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, yes. yes. Fredericksburg. So they tell me, you know, stories. Like I hear stories like, you know, from their parents. So this area of Virginia is super tight knit. These mm -hmm. kids have gone to school together since kindergarten. Oh. And, you know, they're now the class of 2020. So seeing their history and their parents and how that all, you know, related, it was interesting too. But yeah, I'm a school counselor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm an electronic technician, Valkyrie uh, Enterprises, and I work in naval shipyards. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, we want to shout out to all the essential workers and yes. employees that still have yeah, to go to work. I'm definitely. blessed and honored and privileged mm -hmm. to still be allowed to, in my building because I didn't move to this area to work from home. I moved to this area. <laughs> <laughs> and be in my office that I decorated and you know those those material you know those very simple things we took for granted yeah. eight months ago when i moved yeah. out here so you know being essential and still being able to do my job effectively we're we're blessed we're we're super grateful to have jobs mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah currently yeah um big ups to every essential worker out there that is putting their life on the line Literally going to the grocery store, going to the grocery yeah. store, going yeah. to work, being around people constantly. Every driver, you know, everybody, everybody you know, yeah. that they, they're they're doing what they can do to keep to keep us thriving and um, was fed. 
Walmart. He was clothed. <laughs> you know, he, he, he eating air conditioning in the house. Yeah, <laughs> hey, y'all, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, we know it's hard, man. And it's even hard for us that, you know, are, is really not contributing to the stop of the spread. Mm-hmm. You know, and I say that for myself. I, mm-hmm. I, I build, yeah, that's what we do, maintain ships. Yeah. Nothing that we're contributing. So what do you guys <laughs> think the... Blessed part. <laughs> we're out here. We're what? out here. We're still taking care of our families. We're blessed to do so. What's that? So what do you guys think the new normal for roller skating is going to be? Well, I I am <laughs> super appreciative of the innovation. It's inspired me because I'm I'm initially in, innately creative. Mm-hmm. So the virtual, you know, the don't rush challenge got me out of my shell. And mm-hmm. The um, you know, going to this to the tennis courts. I learned how to skate outside anyway. Mm-hmm. So being on a more um, being on a more a higher higher friction mm-hmm. uh, floor has <laughs> given me my confidence back a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so seeing seeing that and you know being able to be virtual and still connect has helped this extrovert immensely. Mm-hmm. Extrovert, I don't mind staying in the house. floor. Uh... <laughs> 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 Give him a uh, six by eight. Yeah, you you give me in the kitchen. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. I'm in the garage, you know. If you have hardwood floor here, I will tear this floor up. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a but, question um, for you as far as um, because you got your skates at three, your Fisher Price, and you were skating all along. But when did you fall in love with skating? Like when did it become your passion? It became my passion when I was in middle school. It became my passion because we were going, they were sending us to the skating rink every Wednesday. See, there we go. There we go. You know, (laughs) we've spoken. Every Wednesday. Yeah, we've actually had um, interviews before, and it seems like (laughs) a lot of the generation around, um, I'll just say our age, (laughs) they... We took field trips to the skating rink. It was like a field trip. It, so a lot of us. It was every Wednesday at, from we would go to the one to four session. Mm-hmm. And I was so happy. Man, I'm out of class. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I had, look, I had my bag and everything. I had my skates ready. I, 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 it was like me and a couple of guys. We were like, this cool guy could we the skate real good. Mm-hmm. And you know we just sound like we had theme music, man. It, 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 it'll have been playing. It's the way like kids just tapping up people in slow motion. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, going into the rink, lacing up, and I just getting out there and skating. Man, I, I, I love. I fell in love with just going all the time, mm-hmm. and you know, building building friendships. Building it, it was deeper. It yeah. wasn't just, oh, yeah, I'm going to see you in school. I'll see you in class. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see you in class. And if we live in the same neighborhood, I'm going to see you in the same neighborhood. And we can go to the rink. We yeah. have a good time. We can, mm-hmm. go, we, we can go cake on some of these girls in here, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can go cake on some of these girls in here. <laughs> Oh, that predated her. She ain't worried about that. (laughs) She got the ring. She got the ring. That's how it matters. I I fell in love with skating, of course, recently, but it was weird with initiatives like that. With with places taking the initiative to take kids where they should be for a positive environment. Shout out to Norfolk State University for doing that. They had um, you know, getaways like get on this coach bus, we're gonna take you to um Greenbrier Skating Rink at least once a month or every other month. But it was still an initiative to get kids from all over the country that mm-hmm. have chosen this university, this HBCU, to go to these local places and learn that hey, you can still do it. Mm-hmm. What you did in your hometown, right here where your college is. 
So being of that age, you know, that's, it kept us in church. It kept us, mm. you know, it kept us, you know, socially engaged and being able to release, have some fun and connect with people that are local, you know, yeah. and free rides to Walmart, praise the Lord. Um, <laughs> so skating for me hit me in my, you know, my young adult life, um, meeting those 30 somethings because they're popping. They, they cook for you. They take you skating and they mm. play the best music. We did. That's, that's, you know, I'm a baby, so I'm getting to hang around. I'm getting to hang around with people that are my brother and sister's age, and this is what they would look like if they chose this type of you know direction for their lives. Like this is exciting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I fell in love with it. You know, maybe three years ago. So I'm just <laughs> well, another thing that this not necessarily, not necessarily maybe fall in love, but um, they was a pivotal thing for me. My mom, she enjoyed, you know, knowing that I was positive mm -hmm. and right. I was active because I played a lot of sports then in middle school and definitely when I got into high school, I ran track, played basketball. All. All you know, <laughs> <laughs> I was in RTC. We was it, it was a lot that was going on. I was on the step team, all of that, yeah. break dance team, all of that. Uh oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Used to do this. Pop locking. What? <laughs> <laughs> so since you had since your school is like 45 minutes from a rink, have you ever taken the students to a roller skating field trip? Some brands they can do. Okay. Um, it was something I would have loved to do. Um, but like I said, being the the fish out of water per se, mm -hmm. uh, I know it's something that can be done. Okay. Uh, there's a high school up, up the street from it, and I don't know what their connection is if they even still go. Mm -hmm. But it's all about starting that conversation and okay. networking effectively. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that I, I'm pushing for in the next school year to bring those vibes back, bring the unity back. I was like, I felt like everybody this school year was on autopilot. Yeah. We were just going through the motions, just getting by losing a lot of sense of self and self-interest just to get whatever <laughs> needed to be done. Um, it's ironic that SOLs have been waived and we see yeah. a huge change just in an emotional state in this generation of kids. They're not strong test takers, yeah. unless they're little hearts. But, you know, just seeing that mindset, like, I feel like this is opening the vault this is opening the box in the mm -hmm. mind for those opportunities i feel like it's a very near happening i need i'm getting you know a stronger support and foundation with his brand and me him, you know me carrying him and him carrying it because he's more experienced and skilled and knowledgeable and i can just be the pretty face All right. <laughs> hey so real quick <laughs> Face of rolling you by really she is the face of us. Um I just take it, you know. Everybody just gravitates can. towards her smile, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I, I think it's a you know, I think all schools should really like I mean, whether you're high well, high school, it'll, but it'll be middle, historical when it happens. Elementary, like middle that, school, they should they should continue to take the kids to the rink because maybe it be gives it. them it gives them a sense of, it gives them a sense of character. Yeah, it's great exercise. Helps, it also helps keep them off the street and you know, yeah. away from stupid, yeah. stupid stuff. nonsense. Mm -hmm. You know, but it did that for me. You know, mm -hmm. it kept me off the street. It, it kept me busy. It kept me doing something. I was with my friends. It kept me kept my butt out of penitentiary. That's why I was <laughs> 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 yeah. We find documentaries it, it decreased violence amongst gangs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, United States really touched on that. Yeah, it really touched on that and how it unified, you know, gang gangs and gang violence. Like, yeah, it's a truce in here when we on the wheel. Like, yeah. yo, bro, I hate you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we gonna skate tonight. <laughs> we get out of the parking lot. So real it was, quick, it, it was like we... that, but you know, that just shows the power, the, the power yeah. of women skating. How yeah. we that's yeah. why I'm saying yeah. for these new skaters, it's deeper than what you think. It's mm -hmm. deeper than you. It's yeah. deeper than 
us is it is it is that connection is more it's, it's more spiritual pain mm-hmm. for for you know and that's that's how it should be yeah. and you can it can stop gang violence mm-hmm. come on now yeah <laughs> you yeah. know that's big yeah that's big man so you know, real quick and, before we get out of here um who has inspired you guys in skating has inspired me in skating mm. Oh, this guy. Uh, <laughs> I love to. Oh God, I don't have any eyeliner on, so we're good. Um, <laughs> I get inspired by every single person, uh, especially like the, the larger events that he took me to. I'm super glad I wasn't resistant um, to be in that in that social scene because just seeing everybody just move so freely and let down their guard it inspires me to go to the rink just to have those conversations to hear the music um you know uh dj boss lady nisi uh tiffany jerry um chasman watching just the ladies we have a facebook group where you know we're just better than the fellas um you know they inspire me mama c you know connie every they inspire me you know the virginia skate community um all of the different djs we come to meet they inspire me but it definitely boils down to this guy uh through you know growing pains knee pains he's still doing his darn thing through more easters, he's Ooh. doing his darn thing. Like, perfect. Hey, I'm not, I'm not the same skater I used to be. Years ago. And that's what, you know. And I'm still doing this thing. I'm still young too, 36. So, you know, still doing this thing and having some ailments that I have. You know, knees getting bad, and mm. you know. <laughs> Love the club. We so happy, y'all. We so happy. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing this thing. <laughs> but anyway, it's like just to still have the energy and the drive, the passion, the love for for skating um, is what keeps me going. And um, you know what inspired the people that has inspired me. Well, I would say this: what inspires me is how resilient we are, mm-hmm. because yeah. knowing that we are a culture, urban culture, black culture, whatever anybody want to call it, <laughs> anybody mm-hmm. want to call it, we are resilient. Mm-hmm. Bounce back mm-hmm. from any adversity that we face, and and that's inside and outside of skating. Um, but a few people that has inspired me, of course, my uncle Ice Man, love him to death, mm-hmm. love him to death. Um, my uncle Will Reed, God rest his soul. Um, great skater, great skater. I wish he was um living today because that would be a guy that I would definitely say, Y'all need to mm-hmm. interview this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Did and Diddy, of course. Really wouldn't be a, a me without them, yeah. you know. Um, Bird and Cadillac here in Virginia, those are two guys that um, I would say y'all need to get in contact with. Mm-hmm. Contact with them. They have a they have a story to tell. Um, Mike Johnson, God rest his soul, out of New York. Mikey, um, love him to death. Um, Haja, yeah, you yeah. know Terry, Darren, Chuck. I, I boo, I can name so many different names, man, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know they probably get it. They like each other's name, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know. But it's it, it's just like that. You know, um, mom, you know, Mama Angie over mm-hmm. here, yes, Mama Joy. And, you know, they are inspirations to me as well. Big man. Big man. You know, they... They have been in this thing for 30 plus years doing parties, events, and they're still doing it. And, you know, they, they're they passing on that torch and they passed it on well. And I can say that that's a very important, important um, thing to do mm-hmm. when, when, you're, when you're trying to bow out gracefully or take a break from something, you know, pass, pass on that torch because they're at some point 
you know, and I know y'all probably heard this at some point. The torch was dropped mm-hmm. or was just, it was never picked up to pass back on. Mm-hmm. You know, and that happened well, at somebody some point. Somebody came and blew it out. Right. Mm-hmm. That happened at some point with my generation. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, life changes. Mm-hmm. Things that's going on. We are moving into careers, taking care of our families, getting married, whatever the case may be. They can all um, still be together. And, and and now you had these influence when other skaters come into this thing, they don't know who to look for or which direction to go. Yeah. So now everything is YouTube, yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Oh man, I like how that guy skate. You know, do this, I'm do that. Like her, I'm gonna do this, I'm do that. They don't really have that structure. They don't really have that person saying, hey man, we gotta listen, still have the conversation. You know, yeah. let's mm-hmm. let's let's let, let me let me in this direction right let me tell you about this right. you so know, it's like what you were saying is, earlier they just haven't been taught mm-hmm. no yeah they haven't oh, yes. they haven't been they the haven't babies. been taught and and they have to be open to it mm-hmm. and be open to it now if they're not open to it there's nothing that we can do about that yeah, but still right. have our arms open to receive them mm-hmm. you know showing there. showing that humility man um you know, and, and I and I'll touch on this. We, I, me and um, a guy named uh, Boogeyman, big Boogeyman here in Virginia, man, awesome guy. Yeah. Um, other person, and, and she nice. Other person, um, I think y'all should interview and Boss Lady J. Um, but I was talking to talking to Boogeyman, and um, he was out there we were skating. I was talking to a young fellow, rising rising um DJ. And um, he was having a conversation with a friend of his, and you know, there was a song that was being played, and it was old school. His friend didn't know about it. Mm-hmm. However, it led into a conversation of that, you know, he thought that because they didn't know about it, that he didn't play that music. I'm it like, wasn't valid. It wasn't valid. I'm like, bro, Aiden was built off of old school music. Right. People that right. still love to hear it. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of a lot of the rap, a lot of the rock and roll or whatever, you it it, that, that was inspired. It was inspired by yeah. old jazz, mm-hmm. 70, 60, 70, 80s music, like mm-hmm. all of that stuff mm-hmm. was inspired by by those by those different um time frames in, in music. Favorite. You know, it be James Brown. Mm-hmm. Well now this is it, you know, this is what that's part of our upbringing. That's a part of our structure, our build. Yeah. You know, and yeah, you know, he, he said said his comment like, you know, y'all just need to step back mm-hmm. and let us let us control stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well go ahead. Um, mm-hmm. go ahead. So do you know how to build a business plan? Do you know what to tell the talk how to what questions to ask these rank owners? Yeah. What yeah. to what to approach, how to approach them? Mm-hmm. Or, or do you just say, hey man, I want a DJ here. Would you allow me? It doesn't, it, it doesn't work. No, like it doesn't work. Gotta, yeah. gotta, and that's where it comes where there's lack of there's lack of understanding of our history. Mm-hmm. And you know, even even Boogeyman himself, and I know he'd probably give me for quoting this. I mean, he he's a he's a guy that owns his own DJ and company. Mm-hmm. Was his bread and butter. Mm-hmm. You know, he's been DJing in the skate world for about past four or five years. Mm-hmm. And he's really doing his thing. Um, and I'm glad that he's there to help influence and and guide some of these um younger mm-hmm. DJs that are coming up. Mm-hmm. Um him and in and in G Nights, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, he had to he had to say some things to him. And um, you know, one of those things is is like why why exclude leadership? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why exclude leadership? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know how to be a leader? Do you know what it takes to be a leader? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Answer, that kid couldn't answer that. I said, you got to humble yourself, bro. That's that's the most important thing because I've heard y'all say on another oh, on interviews before, the number one sickness or, or addiction in this thing is attention. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's attention. Yeah, we all want the attention. We all want that. There, there's 
probably a little sense of arrogance with everybody coming into EJ and stating at some point because we want to be recognized. Right. We want to be seen. Right. But it's about who is behind you, giving you that structure, guiding you in the right direction and reinforcing some things. Which is like, hey, 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 man, you know, nah, you don't want to approach it that way. It's mm-hmm. going to be a bad look for you. Yeah. Yeah. You got to you got to stay humble. You got to show some humility in this thing and and and, and move forward the right way. If you don't, it's going to be hard for you in the future. You're going to sit back and you're going to think, well, why am I not getting these opportunities, that opportunity? Yeah. Uh, brother, well, we try to tell you. You say you want us to move out of the way, do it on your own, but there you go. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's you, you, nobody can get anywhere without help. Yeah. Okay, who you are. yeah. We can't get anywhere without help. We, we we couldn't learn how to walk without help. Right. Come on now. We couldn't. So it's it's at the end of the day, everybody has wherever wherever they are in life, they have they have been influenced by somebody to get there. Right. They have been helped by someone to get. There. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I it's it, it's all about motivation, it's all about drive mm-hmm. and being inspired by in your life that can help you to meet the the the, the status that you mm-hmm. from yeah. far and beyond. The rest is all dependent on you too and who you are. And we and when you see how see how fast you can get knocked down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I think we're starting to have some audio issues. I don't, I don't, don't, yeah, but it's, you know, hopefully, hopefully he understood um, what we were saying and that it (coughs) carries on with him in the future. Because like I told him, I said, man, you're a young guy and you know music that I grew up off of. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy the way you DJ. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the way you DJ. I'm telling you this. Yeah. I'm that old. I'm that old guy that, or or part of that old crew that you just saying step to the side, mm-hmm. you know. But I enjoy what you do, and you never know. I might have an opportunity for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. So don't. So so don't. You know, knock yourself out of the race before it even starts. Right. Right. You know. That, that's why I feel like. That's why I'm so glad of the 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 pioneers in the skate world, the leaders in the skate world that has helped influence me, helped pretty much raise me. And, you know, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we, we, we got to stay strong. We got to stay connected. We got to stay true to ourselves. Stop, you know, stop all the nonsense, stop all the lying to get your, your credibility up, you know, tell your story. It's who you are. It's, it's, what, it's, it's your makeup. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it is, everybody's story is unique. Right. It ain't got to be the most spectacular thing in the world. Yeah. No, I don't. You know, I, I don't think, you know, me, me personally, I'm my worst critic. I don't think my story is the, is the best thing to me. Right. But I have a story. Mm-hmm. And I have and I have other skaters um, within, my, within my story, very prominent and very important figures. And still are in my life, um, and I hope to continue to be that that driving force for other skaters in the future, and continue to encourage them to to um, be humble, love this thing, love it. You'll show it in such a, a greater way, right. you yeah. know, and and just continue to take that and. Spread it on to others, mm-hmm. to you know. So this is this is an awesome thing. It's an awesome world, you know. And I just hope to, the next five to ten years to inspire more, right. mm-hmm. build more relationships. I, I tell Probably. tell some of the newer skaters now, like, hey, look, what do you see yourself doing the next five to ten? Mm-hmm. No, I encourage you also go 
meet at least 10 people. 10 new people when you go to, to an event. Meet five that are your elders. Meet five that are around your age. Mm. At least you're getting five elders that can give you some history. Mm. That can give you some Amen. nourishment. And then you meet another five new people that y'all carry on how you carry on. You build another relationship. And then whatever history you're learning, you can spread to them if they don't know. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And I, was told, I was told that, of course, mm. by, by Uncle Ice. And it's carried on with me. Yeah. yeah. It on with me. That's why, you know, I, I love to gather as much history as I can. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Love, I love to hear the stories. I love to hear about the struggles that they went through and how they over, how they overcame. You know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're actually about to run out of time here. So, real quick, um, how can the skaters connect with you guys? Um, uh, I'm on Instagram, Darla knows the way there's underscore between each word and Facebook, Darla, Darlene Lorraine. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't be on Snap. <laughs> I'm only on Snap for the filters. <laughs> they, people can reach me, of course, on Facebook, um, at Sam B.A. Smooth Roller. Um, and I also have a, an additional page up there. Uh, Roller Unified Ready mm-hmm. uh, that pretty much touches on the, the brand and um, has little nuggets in there. It's just a platform for people to um, promote what they got going on. Um, also put some skate history in there somewhere, mm-hmm. you know, to tell, help tell a story. Um, and also you can reach me on IG. Um, my rolling unified. Um, that's what it is. It's R R O L L I N unified um, on IG, and it has you know t-shirts and everything, brand and stuff that um pretty much um being promoted up there. Mm-hmm. And um you know Gmail. You yeah, know? G- Gmail. <laughs> we love Google. Reach me at <laughs> reach me at are you ready zero three two seven are you is the letter are you and then ready. 0327 at gmail.com. Um, oh, let's have a conversation. Let's let's get together. Let's train. Let's do whatever mm-hmm. you want to do, man. Let's hey, let's let's do it. That's the limit. Love with skating. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> sounds skate, good. Fam. <laughs> sounds good. Well, we greatly appreciate you guys tuning in with yes. us and taking the time out appreciate to speak. Appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, Thank no you. problem. Yeah, appreciate you guys you. taking the time to speak with us and everything. And you know, um. Uh, for everybody that's listening, right, you do, that will be listening and who will be viewing the video, make sure you guys reach out to them if you guys have any questions or anything mm-hmm. like that. You know, um, this and is every all story is me. unique, and you never every, know how your story may touch somebody else, inspire someone else. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I, I thank y'all for this opportunity. Yes. I, I love what y'all are doing, and this is Appreciate even it. though we're uh, in a in a crazy time right now this yeah. is the best time to do something like this and yeah thank you with <laughs> other skaters from around because we all have a story to tell yeah. it's a mm-hmm. lot of fun facts about us oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. Know us and don't know us. i thank y'all um skate skaters connection radio mm-hmm. love y'all appreciate yeah, it it's really, really appreciate it. hopefully we'll all be yeah. back on the on- wood <laughs> soon and until then we, we will, will see, see you guys on the wood, wood.